Have you ever stopped to think about the power of a smile or the subtle ways our lips communicate without a single word? Welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating world of lips, anatomy, physiology, and the incredible roles they play in our lives. Let's begin with the external structure of our lips. The lips are far more complex than they appear at first glance. The vermilion border is the distinct line that separates the red part of the lips from the surrounding skin. It's what gives our lips their unique, defined look. Without it, our lips would blend seamlessly into the rest of our face, losing much of their expressiveness and charm. Next, we have the Cupid's bow, the charming curve of the upper lip, named after Cupid's bow and arrow. This distinctive shape is often associated with beauty and youth. Below the nose, you'll find the philtrum, the vertical groove that connects the lips to the base of the nose. Fun fact, the shape of the philtrum is unique to each person, much like fingerprints. It's even thought to play a role in the way our faces form during embryonic development. The commissures are the corners of our mouths where the upper and lower lips meet. These small but significant areas are crucial for our ability to form expressions and articulate speech. They help to seal the mouth, preventing dribble while speaking or eating. Ever noticed how a slight smile can be so different from a wide grin? That's the commissures at work, subtly changing the shape of our mouth. Now let's peel back the layers and explore the internal structure of our lips. The outermost layer of the lips is the skin, which is remarkably thin and lacks hair and sweat glands. This is why our lips can dry out so quickly. Unlike the rest of our skin, lips don't have a thick, protective outer layer, making them more susceptible to the elements. Beneath the skin is the vermilion zone, the part of our lips that gives them their characteristic red color. This area is rich in capillaries, which bring blood close to the surface and has fewer melanocytes, the cells that produce pigment. This combination results in the vibrant hue we associate with healthy lips. Central to the lips functionality is the orbicularis oris muscle, a complex muscle that encircles the mouth. This muscle allows us to control the movements of our lips, enabling everything from speaking and eating to whistling and kissing. The orbicularis oris is not just one muscle, but a composite of several layers of muscle fibers, each contributing to the fine motor skills our lips perform daily. Beneath the muscle lies the submucosa, which contains connective tissue and minor salivary glands. These glands help keep our lips moist by secreting saliva. Saliva not only aids in digestion, but also plays a vital role in maintaining the health of our lips by keeping them lubricated and protected from infections. Did you know that our lips have a rich blood supply? This plays a crucial role in their health and function. The superior and inferior labial arteries, branches of the facial artery, supply blood to the lips. This rich vascular network not only gives our lips their distinctive color, but also ensures they receive the necessary nutrients and oxygen. The high concentration of blood vessels is why our lips bleed easily, but also heal quickly. The abundant blood flow is also why lips turn blue in cold weather, or when we're not getting enough oxygen. This change in color is a visible sign of our body's physiological responses, highlighting just how interconnected our systems are. Our lips are incredibly sensitive. Thanks to an intricate network of nerves, sensory innervation of the lips primarily comes from the trigeminal nerve, specifically its V2 and V3 branches. This is what makes our lips so responsive to touch, temperature, and pain. The motor innervation is provided by the facial nerve, which controls the movements of the orbicularis oris muscle, allowing us to perform complex lip movements. The sensitivity of our lips is essential for detecting harmful substances and protecting the mouth. It's also why kissing can feel so intimate and personal. The high density of nerve endings in the lips makes them one of the most sensitive parts of our body. Now that we've covered the anatomy, let's delve into the many functions of our lips. 
Lips play a crucial role in facial expressions, conveying a wide range of emotions from happiness and surprise to sadness and anger. They are essential tools for nonverbal communication, helping us connect with others on an emotional level. A slight curve upwards can signify a smile, while a downturn can indicate a frown, each tiny movement contributing to the vast array of human emotions. Interestingly, the way we use our lips can differ across cultures. For example, in some cultures, a subtle lip movement can be a form of greeting or show respect, highlighting the cultural significance of our lip movements. The movements of our lips are vital for producing speech sounds. They help in articulating consonants and vowels, making clear and effective communication possible. Without our lips, sounds like B, P, M, and W would be impossible to produce. From whispering secrets to singing aloud, the precision and versatility of our lip movements enable a wide range of vocal expressions. This intricate dance of muscles and nerves working together allows us to communicate complex ideas and emotions effectively. Our lips assist in grasping food, creating a seal to prevent spillage, and guiding food into our mouths. They also play a role in the initial stages of digestion by sensing the temperature and texture of what we eat. This sensory input helps us enjoy our meals and avoid potential hazards like food that's too hot. Lips are also crucial for drinking. Whether we're sipping from a glass, a straw, or a bottle, our lips form a tight seal to prevent leaks. This adaptability showcases the multifunctional nature of our lips in everyday activities. The lips are highly sensitive due to their rich supply of sensory nerves. This sensitivity helps protect the mouth from harmful substances and provides important sensory feedback. For instance, our lips can detect even the slightest changes in texture or temperature, helping us enjoy the sensory pleasures of eating and drinking. This heightened sensitivity also contributes to the pleasure of kissing. The dense network of nerves in our lips makes them incredibly responsive to touch, enhancing the emotional and physical connection we feel when we kiss someone. Lips act as a barrier, protecting the oral cavity from external environmental factors such as pathogens, toxins, and physical damage. Their strategic location and structure make them an essential part of our body's defense system. For example, our lips can detect and block harmful substances from entering our mouths, providing an initial line of defense. In addition to their protective role, the lips also help maintain the moisture balance in our mouth. By sealing the oral cavity, they prevent excessive moisture loss and help keep our mouth environment stable. Before we wrap up, let's explore some fascinating facts and debunk a few myths about lips. Did you know that the shape of your lips can change over time? Factors like aging, sun exposure, and lifestyle habits can influence their appearance. Over time, lips can lose volume and definition due to a decrease in collagen production. To maintain healthy lips, it's important to protect them from the sun and keep them hydrated. Using lip balms with SPF and moisturizing ingredients can help preserve their youthful appearance. Humans are the only species with visible lips turned outward. This unique feature plays a significant role in our ability to express emotions. Unlike animals whose lips are primarily functional for feeding, human lips have evolved to facilitate complex communication and social interactions. Our outward-turned lips also play a role in the unique ways we kiss. While other animals may nuzzle or groom, humans have developed kissing as a form of affection, bonding, and even social ritual. A common myth is that lip balm addiction is real. However, there's no scientific evidence to support this. Lip balm helps to protect and moisturize, but it's not addictive. Some people may feel the need to apply it frequently because their lips are consistently exposed to harsh conditions. 
It's important to choose lip balms with beneficial ingredients and avoid those with irritants like menthol or camphor, which can dry out the lips over time. As we've seen, our lips are incredibly versatile and play a crucial role in our daily lives. From expressing emotions to aiding in speech and protecting our mouth, they are truly remarkable. If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you have about lips. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the anatomy and physiology of lips. Until next time, keep smiling and stay curious.